Hey girl, did you ever wonder how our community got so advanced? Well, it was one man and one man only who changed the world of science forever. That man is me, Albert Einstein. I was born in Ulm, Germany on March 14, 1879. Many around the globe knew me for some of the things that I did. I had many struggles, but they didn't keep me from doing great things. As a child, I was humble. I had a nod shaped head that stuck with me my whole life. Others often commented about my head, but I didn't let that bother me. I also had a speech problem and often paused to think what I'd say next. When I was young, I marveled that the invisible forces that turned the needle of a compass in a geometry book, I read the book, I read the book over and over again. Later in school, I made my professors angry because I liked to study on my own and would cut class all the time. This caused me to be turned off for every teaching job that I applied for. In 1905, I obtained my doctorate degree. I published four papers describing my research. The most famous paper is the theory of relativity. Here I have my famous equation, E equals mc squared, which means when water is converted into energy, the amount of energy is equal to the mass of an object times the square of the speed of light in a vacuum. In 1921, I won the Nobel Prize for Physics. In 1933, I became a professor, and in 1939, World War II broke out. I was afraid that Germany was working on, an, on atomic bombs. So I wrote to President Franklin D. Roosevelt to explain my position. My theories helped to make construction of the atomic bomb possible. 1901 to 1954, I published one of the very hundred scientific works. One of, my famous quotes, one of my famous quotes is, I'm enough of an artist to draw fully upon my imagination. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination is what is the world.